This is Cadillac Post Game Extra, exclusively on SNY.TV. It's been quite a year for the Mets' bullpen so far. The Mets are managing their bullpen a little differently. Robert Gazelman has taken a huge step forward. Now, instead of being that two or three inning guy in the middle of the game, he's being used more toward the end of games. Well, with a lot of the double headers, uh, Lugo may be shoved into the starting role, flexing up to take over the long relief in the middle for Gazelman. Gazelman being, he's earned it. He's earned that, 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 that bridge to Familia. And today, with Familia having pitched two days in a row, uh, Callaway sends him out for the ninth inning and he strikes out the side and I know this is a struggling Diamondback ball club here but it's a major league lineup and that was very impressive getting in getting his first career save tremendous breaking ball today well you know he's a sinker ball pitcher but he had that good sharp bite today on his breaking ball have you seen a big difference with Gazelman from when he was a starting pitcher to what he's doing now I see him coming up as success that first year as a starter the next year he comes back, he struggled in the starting role. Uh, now thrown into the bullpen, the adjustment made there. I really feel that uh, Mickey Callaway has handled him well, has up, moved him up, showed confidence in him. Left him in that game in Washington, if you recall, with Bryce Harper up in an open base, didn't bring in Blevins, and he got Harper out. I think that was a big boost for, uh, for Gazelman. And he's, I just see his confidence building. And he got his first career save to finish off the sweep of the Diamondbacks. Now the Mets take on the Marlins Monday night. And you'll see that game on SNY, 6.30, the coverage city pregame live. That'll do it for Cadillac Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.